the tab page selector. If you need to show the current page with dots like this at the bottom, you can use the tab page selector widget. First thing first, we will create a list of widgets and inside we will put three different icons. Next, we will need to use the width single ticker provider state mixin. After, we will create a controller and an index set as zero. In the init state, we will set the controller to a tab controller. The length will be the widgets.length. The initial index will be the current index value. You will also need the vsync this, which is accessible because we use the single ticker provider state mixin. Because we use the controller, we also need to dispose this controller. With this, we can go inside a scaffold widget, create a stack widget with the alignment center. Inside the children, we will use the tab bar view. The controller will be the controller we just created. The children will be the widgets, which is a list of icon. Then we need to create a positioned widget. The bottom will be 40. This is just the location for the tab page selector widget. The controller will also be the same controller. The color will be black 38. And then we can create a floating action button, which will use the bottom bar. This one will be used to change pages. So inside the children, we will create a floating action button dot small. The on press will have a condition. If it's not the last index, then add one and change page. Otherwise, reset everything and put the index as zero. Then we will use the controller to animate into the next index. With an icon, the over elevation will be zero and the elevation zero also. And with all this, you have created the tab page selector widget.